Welcome back, my fright-seeking friends. This evening's presentation is based on the large orange staple of everyone's Halloween doorstep. What would the holiday of ghouls and ghosts be without the beloved jack-o'-lantern? Keep watching to see how this one gets carved. Start out with orange Wolf of X Hydracolor. Get a quick base and also glue down those eyebrows. Roughly sketch the hole in the chest with Bow Bubbles Pro Peach Color. Then using the Rust Red out of that same palette, begin to paint the outlines and some of the shading. With a wet brush, blended the two colors and added texture towards the center. Back with the Rust Red and put in the pumpkin lines. Put some in an airbrush to create soft shadows where the lines are and add some contouring. Airbrush some of the peach color as a highlight. Also, with white Wolf of X Hydracolor, create the candle inside the pumpkin. Then added a flame with the Bow Buggles peach shade. Taking the Collective Cosmetics Abyss eyeshadow color, add some softer shadows around the inside of the opening and on the candle to give it more dimension. Brightened up some of the high points of the candle with white hydrocolor. With Bow Buggles Pro Classic Color Number 2 palette, use the light yellow for some highlights on the edges to make it look like the light is being cast from the candle. Mix the saffron and light yellow to get softer highlights on the wall of the cutout. Add a wick to the candle with Kat Von D Beauty Tattoo Liner. Painted more bright spots on the candle and in the center of the flame. Even added a broken ring around the flame to make it look more like it was glowing. Took the light yellow and widened the highlights, also blending them out just a little bit. Put some texture on the pumpkin area by painting thin lines and high points. Doing the same thing with the Bow Buggles Pro Saffron Color. With the black Wolf FX Hydra Color, painted out the tops of my shoulders and blocked out my ears for later. Added more streaks of the saffron color, this time using a flat rake brush. Doing this with the peach color too. Quick spatter of the saffron over everything and being careful not to hit the candle. Use the peach and the airbrush to really brighten up the highlights. Followed by the Bow Buggles Ochre color for a medium highlight. Bring back some of the shadows with the Rust Red color. Taking the black Hydra color and line everything for added depth. Also took it and painted the inner parts of my arms to make them appear thinner. With the Skin Illustrator Hiroshi palette, use Koi Yellow and an orange stipple sponge to put in some texture. Added some hot spots sporadically along the black lines. Use the Collective Cosmetics Abyss shade around the candle and flame to add some contrast. Took green Wolf of X Hydracolor to start the vines wrapping around the chest. Back with the Collective Cosmetic Abyss color and add some shadows along the vines to make them look more 3D. Spray everything down with some blue marble sealer. Paint a few highlights with the Bow Buggles Pro Lime color. And followed with the light yellow for brighter spots. Took Skin Illustrator White for the brightest of the vine highlights. Wanted it to look like the candle was casting light on the vines, so used the peach color along the edges facing the candle. Even added more along the opening. Deepen shadows wherever it was needed with the abyss eyeshadow. To really help the vines pop, line them with the black hydra color with a thin detail brush. Also added details around the opening and darkened under the candle. With the Bow Buggles peach color, add light blotchy textures and highlight anywhere I may have missed. 
Last thing, use the white hydrocolor for some hot spots all around. Now for the face. Put down a base of the orange hydrocolor. Add a stem with the Bow Buggles Pro Lime Color. Painted out the pumpkin shape with the rust red. Any exposed skin, paint with the black hydrocolor. Went back in and extended the stem. And taking the abyss color, add some depth on and around the stem. Brightened up and refined it with the lime green. Rake some textures with the peach color, followed by saffron. Throw in some highlights with white hydrocolor, and use the peach to rough out the jack-o'-lantern face. Then paint in with the rust red. And fill in any exposed skin. Brighten the inner edges with Bow Buggles peach color. Shade in the cutouts with the rust red, leaving the middle opening. And went in and added some ochre color to the stem. Paint some bright highlights with Skin Illustrator White. And line everything with black hydrocolor. Also deepen the shading and the cutouts. Airbrush in the crooks of the pumpkin with the rust red, then soften the blend into the black. Even added some contouring in the cheek hollows and temples. With a Bow Buggles peach color, airbrush some soft highlights. Stippled some yellow texture on the high points, and airbrushed the peach color in the middle of the cutouts to start creating the effect of an inner glow. Add some vines, then shade them with the Collective Cosmetics Abyss shade. Then line and highlight them, just like on the chest. Take the peach color and add textures and highlights all around. Took a larger brush and blended out into the center of the eye and mouth. Paint in some split details and finish lining. Also, the peach color put in some larger splotches to look like the candle is casting more light. Pop in a few white highlights and airbrush some Skin Illustrator Koi Yellow to help bring out that internal glow. Put some stark highlights in with Ben Nye FX Cream in White. Back with the airbrush and going from white then saffron to make the glow even more realistic. Use Bow Buggles light yellow in the most inner part of the glow. Put some darker shadows with the Collective Cosmetics Abyss color on the inner parts of the cutouts to really help that contrast. Then gradually up the brush size to get more contouring and depth around the face. Put in some contacts. Line the eyes with ColourPop Cream Liner and Cross. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Got more videos coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for this month, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Also, I'm creating a look for every day for the month of October. To check out all the makeups, go ahead and follow me on any of these social platforms.